Hello everyone. So I thought I'd do another tapping video, this one about releasing guilt. Um, I've heard a common theme with students recently that guilt is something on people's minds for different reasons. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a process to think about when it comes to guilt and then we'll do some tapping to release guilt. So when you're thinking about guilt, the first thing that's really important is to figure out what you actually feel guilty about. Sometimes there's just a general feeling of guilt and then it's hard to figure out like how to make the situation better. Um, so take some quiet time at some point and figure out what you're actually feeling guilty about. Did you disappoint someone? Did you lie to someone? Um, did your action hurt somebody intentionally or unintentionally? Um, did you say something hurtful? Were you mad and in the moment you did or said something that you wish you hadn't because you're not normally like that? So think about what it is you're actually feeling guilty about. And it may, if it's really confusing, you may need to take some time to write it out or talk to somebody about it and see what that core piece is as far as guilt. The next thing you'll want to do um, is figure out a way to rectify the situation. And so let's say, for example, I've lied to someone um, for whatever reason. I, I couldn't be honest in the moment and I lied to somebody. I would want to go and apologize to that person about the fact that I lied to them. And acknowledging that my actions hurt them. And then also making a promise to not do it again or to work on that issue, depending on kind of where I am. I don't want to make a false promise. Um, but you'll want to rectify the situation that'll help with guilt. The big piece of guilt is feeling like there, there's nothing I can do to fix the situation because I'm just bad. I'm just mean. I'm just whatever. So if you actually work on fixing it, you can then talk to yourself more positively saying, yes, I did that thing, but I'm actually really working on it now. And there has to be the true intention to work on it. If you're just saying you're going to work on it, that's just going to lead to more guilt because you're going to do it again. Um, but if you're truly working on something and you're able to follow through on a promise, then that's a really big piece of um, solving guilt and getting out of that pattern. Um, another piece is practicing gratitude. So if that person that you hurt does a lot of really positive things for you, make sure to take time to let them know like how much they mean to you and be really specific. So it's not just, hey, mom, thanks for being a great mom. It might be like, hey, mom, when you ask how my day is, even when I'm really grumpy and rude about it, I actually like that you ask how my day is. So just be really specific and let them know that they matter. Um, that helps keep that communication open up open. So when something negative happens, like you snap at your mom because you're mad that day, you have a lot of positive pieces to build off of so that that hurt moment is just a hurt moment and it doesn't drag out into something more dramatic. So anyway, now we'll get to the tapping piece. And, and I realize that we're jumping into this tapping piece before you may have really um, did a deep dive into what's going on for you. So you're welcome to pause and figure it out for yourself or just practice this not really knowing exactly um, what's going on with your guilt or not having fixed it yet. So the first thing we're going to do is just the karate chop. And then we're going to just start with that sequence as far as speaking the same thing over and over. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to say my guilt. But in your case, if you were to do this on your own, you may be more specific than saying my guilt. Even though I feel guilty, I genuinely love, accept, and respect myself. Even though I feel guilty, I genuinely love, accept, and respect myself. Even though I feel guilty, I genuinely love, ex respect, and accept myself. Even though I feel guilty, I genuinely love, respect, and accept myself. And we're not going to go longer on this piece right here, but if you've practiced this before, you know you can go as long as you need to to kind of Get that calm moment, find that deep breath. And you can also tap this way as well. Either way works, just to hit the pressure point along the side of your hand. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into more of the tapping series. 
So in this case, I'm just going to use my guilt and not say the whole thing over and over. Um, you're welcome to say the whole thing over and over, but I find it easier just to keep it simple. My guilt. 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 And we're going to do this two more times with just the my guilt. 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 Do this one more time. My guilt. 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 And I'm going to go into kind of a speaking piece. So this is just an example of how you could process more through tapping. Um, you can do this along with me, um, or you could just kind of take some pieces that you like and then use it on your own. And, and this piece is meant to be very spur of the moment, not really thinking about it. You're just tapping while processing what's going on in your head. I feel like I can't control my guilt. My guilt convinces me that I'm a bad person. My guilt makes me think that maybe people shouldn't like me. It feels like I can't ever fix the problems I cause. I know I'm trying, but it doesn't seem like enough. Sometimes I get really angry at myself. And then that makes that even worse because I act out in anger towards others. The guilt cycle never ends. I just want to feel like a good person. I want to treat people the way they deserve to be treated. I also want to be treated in a way I deserve. I think at the core, I deserve to be treated well. I'm really sorry for the way I act, even though I don't always say it. I'd really like to be a more open person. And I'm going to go ahead and do one more series with this. And the important thing to remember when you're doing it on your own is just to end on a positive note. Man, I wish I could magic my guilt away. Without my guilt, I think I'd actually be a better person. I'd be able to be more present. But it's something that I'm working on. I'm not there yet. I forgive myself for not being there yet. I accept that some people are still angry at me, even when I'm ready to forgive them and forgive myself, that they may still be hurt. For right now, I'm willing to let go of the guilt that's been processed. And hopefully I'll let go of more guilt in the future and help myself become a better person. I believe I can do that. 
So we're gonna end with the karate chop. And for this last part, all you need to do is just karate chop until you feel some shift in your body. Could be a deeper breath. It could be you just find yourself changing position and it feels more comfortable. Maybe your face relaxes. Maybe your mind gets quiet. And as soon as you find that moment, we'll stop. And I hope this helped a little bit. Sometimes things that are really deep in our thinking take a long time to start releasing. So you may not find any relief in the first time. As with any tapping exercise, if you find it's making the problem worse, this is not the solution for you at this time. Um, but if it's making things neutral or better, you're welcome to try it again. And hopefully um, you can get a little bit further and deeper into what's going on in your body and mind. All right, have a good day, everybody.